In this lecture, I'm going to briefly show you how to use the search terms report to find negative keyword ideas and add them at the campaign level, the ad group level, etc. We've spoken about how important that search terms report really is. It's one of the most important tools inside Google Ads. Negative keyword match type, like I've, like I've expressed, is the most important thing to really focus on as an optimization technique. Uh, it should be part of your optimiza optimization schedule very frequently. And it's important to understand how to use the search terms report as the primary method of finding negative keywords. There's other research methods for finding negative keywords, like looking at Google Auto Suggest, Google related searches, just your own ideas. But the search terms report is actual historic data that your account has accrued. So without further delay, let's jump into Google Ads and I wanna show you a couple different things with regards to finding the search terms report, et cetera. Here we are back in the Google Ads dashboard and I am under the all campaigns section, which is showing me all my campaigns. This is our account that we've been building out for Poppin. And as you could see through some of the data over here, we've gotten some clicks, We've gotten some impressions. We have a click-through rate of 2.31%. Our average CPC is $2.46 and our total cost is $300. And of course, this is traffic that's being sent to Poppin, to Poppin's website. It's free traffic for them. I have nothing to benefit from it, but I'm investing some money just to put some data in this account for the sake of this course. But I'm also gonna bring you back and show you some other live accounts. If I wanna see all the keywords that are active in, the, in all the campaigns, before drilling into a campaign by clicking the campaign name, I could simply go to my keywords tab over here in the second vertical menu. So I'm gonna go ahead and click keywords. And this is a list now of all the keywords. This is what we call our keyword report. This is a list of all the keywords that have generated some clicks. So we see desk chair. Um, if we sort this by clicks, desk chair, the keyword desk chair got us the most amount of clicks with the most amount of impressions. And going down from there, office chair, office chair, office chairs, discontinued cha discounted chairs, buy office chairs, et cetera. And this is very, very early on in the campaign. There's not a lot of data. This is not when the search terms report is gonna be the most valuable, but remember the keyword desk chair triggered 36 clicks, but that doesn't mean that desk chair was the search term that got those 36 clicks. All right, that's a very, very important distinction. There are two ways to open up a search terms report. I can either look at a search terms report for all the keywords in my keywords report. And to do that, we're gonna go up here into the vertical navigation, click on search terms, and then search terms again. We're not gonna go into auction insights. That's a separate report for a separate time. If I click on search terms without selecting any given keyword, I'm gonna see the search terms that triggered all the keywords in that search terms report. And again, I could sort my search terms report by clicks, impressions, click the rate, average CPC, cost, and any other columns that I add. And we'll talk about editing and modifying um, columns at a later time. And over here, we start seeing some interesting thing, right? We see that dinosaur office chair, dinosaur office chair for adults, dinosaur office chair is getting the lion's share of our clicks, right? Now, this is a really good example of search terms report seeming a little bit wacky. I'm not really sure what a dinosaur office chair is. So I don't really know if I should add it as a negative keyword. But there's another reason why it's, it'll be difficult to figure out whether or not dinosaur, dinos, dinosaur office chair should be a negative keyword. But for the sake of research, and I'm gonna put it down, I'm gonna write it down on the board real quick, and I would have this on my notepad, I would say, okay, dinosaur. What's going on with this keyword? We gotta investigate and see if this should be added as a negative keyword or how we should deal with that exactly. Or maybe it should be added as a positive keyword if we see it's a really good click. And I'm gonna go down a little bit. And if I wanna see exactly how many search terms dinosaur has been triggering, or how many search terms that, that included the word dinosaur in it, I could select a filter. And I make these filters all the time. So I'm gonna make a filter for search term contains dinosaur, right? And I could come down here and now I see, now my search terms report is filtered just for search terms that include the word dinosaur. And I see that there are 31 clicks. Now I'd be interested to know what percentage of search terms that actually is for all the search terms that I'm looking for. So I could simply just divide 122, which is the total search terms in the account by 31, and that's like 25.4%. Now I'm interested to know what percentage of search terms that include dinosaur is that in relation to the rest of the account. And it's actually really easy to get that number. All I would have to do is divide 122 by 31, and that comes out to be about 25.4%, okay? So 25.4% of my search terms are including this word dinosaur, so obviously it's really, really popular and I should investigate what that is. 
So I would go to Google, I would figure out what is a dinosaur chair, what are people looking for? So let's just pretend we don't sell that, right? We want to add dinosaur as a negative keyword. The question is, if we want to add this as a negative, what match type should we be adding it as? Not only what match type do we want to add it as a negative keyword, what level do we want to add it as? Is it going to be a campaign, ad group, or is it going to be a negative keyword list? All right, so we need to answer these questions. So we need to figure out what does dinosaur represent? So say dinosaur, the word dinosaur represents something that we do not sell at all, okay? And that's the easiest type of negative keyword to deal with. Say for example, we didn't sell dinosaur chairs, but we did sell dinosaur file cabinets, whatever that meant, then we wouldn't want to add it as a negative keyword that's totally irrelevant. We would want to add it as a negative keyword for those specific campaigns that are targeting dinosaur chairs because um, that's the type of dinosaur product we don't sell. But in our example, let's say we don't sell it at all. It's something that we simply don't sell. But we see we have a lot of these, um, we have a lot of these search terms that we would have to add as negatives. There's dinosaur office chair, dinosaur chair office, dinosaur chairs. These are all the different search terms that have triggered the word. I could select all, right? And I saw that I have 14 selected and add them all as negative keywords. But I don't need to do that because if you remember, how does Google treat negative broad match, right? So if I add a dinosaur as a negative broad, if you remember from our previous lecture, that would mean that whenever the word dinosaur showed up at any level of the account that has that negative keyword applied to it, the search term would be ineligible from triggering any of our keywords. So I don't necessarily need to add all of these 14 search terms as negative keywords. And I'm gonna show you two different easy ways to do this right now. So I could click dinosaur office chair and select add as negative keyword. And I'm gonna have a few different options. I could either add it to an ad group. I don't wanna do that here because we remember what we said, we don't sell dinosaur at all. I could add it to the campaign or I could add it to a negative keyword list. Unfortunately, we don't have any negative keyword lists set up yet, and I'm gonna show you how to set up, that up, set up negative keyword lists in um, either the next lecture or the one right after. So for now, I'm gonna add it to the campaign. So I'm gonna add it to my office chairs campaign, but remember, if we build out this account and we have multiple campaigns for file cabinets and we're seeing that dinosaur is a term we're worried about triggering ads and we don't sell that, that, we don't sell that, that product, we would have to add dinosaurs and negative keyword everywhere. So I'm going to add it to the campaign level. So any of the ad groups, all the keywords, I'll tell you this office chairs, office desks campaign ends up having 50 ad groups and each of those ad groups has 50 keywords. Any search term that would potentially trigger any keyword from any of those ad groups that includes the word dinosaur would now be ineligible to show because I'm adding this negative keyword at the campaign level. Now Google by default, if you see here, adds dinosaur office chair as a exact match negative keyword. Why? Why does Google do that? You guys should know by now. The reason why Google's default match type for negative keywords is exact match is because it'll get you to continue to spend as much money as possible because exact match excludes the least amount of possible search terms. If I have a negative keyword, exact match dinosaur office chair, then if somebody searches for dinosaur desk chair or dinosaur chair or dinosaur office accessories, my, my keyword would be eligible to be triggered by that search term because I'm only excluding this exact search term. And I don't wanna do that, but, but luckily, I have the option to customize how this keyword is added. So I could just take away the brackets and I could add dinosaur office chair as a broad match keyword, but I don't wanna do that either because if I add dinosaur office chair, then it's gonna exclude any search term that includes dinosaur office chair. I want to make sure to exclude any search term in this campaign that includes the word dinosaur. So simple enough, I'm just going to remove office chair from that negative keyword and I'm going to click save. And now that has been added to the negative keyword section of the site. Now there's another additional problem. Under added and excluded, it says none because I did not add or exclude the specific variation of that search term. And it's helpful, it's not necessary, but it's helpful to be able to log back in to Google Ads and see this added and excluded column update so you can keep track of what you've done. You could keep track of the work you've done. So if you log in in three weeks from now and you look at dinosaur office chair and you'll be like, oh, I don't remember if I added that as a negative keyword, there's a simple trick to doing that. So I could select all of these that include dinosaur and add as negative keyword and just leave the format the same. Add it to the campaign level, leave the format the same, leave it as exact match, and if I click save, watch what happens to that added and excluded column. Now, once I've done that, all of these keywords here show that I've excluded them, which is really helpful because now when I log back into Google Ads at a later date, I'm gonna see that they're all excluded. 
There's another way to add negative keywords really, really easily, and that's just going to the negative keywords tab. So let me remove this filter by clicking reset, and now I'm gonna see all my search terms that had triggered. And I might be looking down and I see, oh, gaming chair. Okay, gaming chair got us three clicks. It cost us two fifty cents a click. We spent seven dollars, and we know that that's not going to convert because we don't sell gaming chairs. Okay, so I want to add gaming as a negative keyword. We don't want anything to do with gaming. We're not a gaming company. We don't sell any supplies for gamers. So I'm first going to add this as a negative keyword exact match at a campaign level. And remember that I'm, the reason why I'm doing that is because I see that it now updates as, as excluded, but that's not good enough. I still want to add gaming as a negative raw match. So we could go ahead and do it again the same way we did it, or I could simply go over to negative keywords. I could take a look at all the negative keywords here and I could see what level each of those negative keywords have been added on. So I see dinosaur was at the campaign level, et cetera. And now I want to add a new negative keyword. I want to add gaming. So I'm going to click the plus, the blue circle plus to add a negative keyword. I'm going to add it to the campaign level. I'm going to select the campaign I want to add it to, which is office chairs, and I'm going to write the word gaming. And I could do a couple other things as well. If I want to exclude anybody searching for chairs on Amazon, I could use the word Amazon, um, used, maybe Craigslist, et cetera, and obviously, or eBay. These are ideas that you would get pictures, images. These are, these are a bunch of broad match keywords that I'm happy to apply at the campaign level. Now, in fact, you would really want to add these keywords to a negative keyword list because these are what we would call account irrelevant. I'm going to show you how to set up an account irrelevant keyword list um, in a little bit. But for now, we'll go ahead and click save and that's how we add keywords to the, to the campaign level when we have a situation where we want the negative keyword to be excluded at the campaign level. I can always navigate back to my search terms report by clicking search terms again. And I want to talk about the second reason why we don't really have the en enough data to make the best decision. And you probably guessed it by now. We don't have conversion data in this specific Google Ads account because this is a Google Ads account that we started for this course. I don't have any tracking tags on Poppin's website, so we certainly don't know if any of these clicks are generating revenue. That's really, those, those are really the metrics you want to assess when determining whether a keyword should be a negative keyword or not. So I'm gonna show you in a second in a live account what this process would look like. But again, real quickly, I wanna go back to search keywords. And this again is my keywords tab. Say I wanna analyze the search terms from just one of these keywords, all right? So I can go down to discounted chairs and I say, okay, we got 17 clicks from discounted chairs. I wanna see which search terms were triggering just this one keyword. So I could highlight and select this one keyword discounted chairs. And now if I click search terms over here in the blue uh, horizontal navigation, that appears when I highlight that keyword, now I'm only gonna be shown a search terms report that applies to this one specific keyword. So I'm gonna go ahead and click search terms and we'll see a much smaller list of 14 search terms that have triggered this keyword. So I see affordable furniture, shopping in American, affordable salon chairs, cheap barber chairs, cheap Egypt furniture, etc. So now affordable salon chairs, we don't sell salon chairs. That's another great idea for negative keywords. So I'm gonna click, um, select that keyword, add it as a negative and exact match at the campaign level so it updates. I'm gonna just copy the word salon because I don't have to type it. And you'll see as, as you get do this, it, this is a process that'll go much faster. And now I'm gonna select it again, add it as a negative keyword and just highlight all, paste in salon, add it at the campaign level as a broad match because I wanna make sure that anytime somebody uses the word salon, if somebody writes cheap salon chairs or if somebody writes um, metal salon chairs, I wanna make sure that I don't pay to show an ad and get that click because it's irrelevant. It's, we do not sell them on our site. It's very unlikely that we'll get a profitable conversion for that search term. Just to go back to that process one more time, you could do this for multiple keywords as well. So if I wanna see my search terms for buy office chairs, discount chairs, and office chairs, I could select three and click search terms. And now I'll see a search terms report for three of those keywords and that those three keywords show up in the filter. So if I wanna remove this filter, I could just click the X button on that filter and now I'm back to my search terms report for all the keywords in this campaign. One more thing, once we're in all the search terms for the campaign, say I wanna know what keyword did dinosaur office chair as a search term trigger? What keyword did kids rolling desk chairs trigger? You could do that by adding the keyword column to this report. So we're gonna hit the button columns over here. We're going to either search for keyword or we could find it under the attributes twirl down and add keyword. And if I wanna see keyword up front, really close to my search term, I can drag it and rearrange it to be the first column in my search terms report. We click apply, and now I see exactly which keyword was triggered by every given search term in this report. So dinosaur office chair triggered the keyword office chair. Um, custom desk chair triggered the keyword office chairs. 
uh, you know, and so on and so forth. We don't need to go through each one. And this is not a very big ad group, so there's a small variation of keywords. Now that we've finally been into the search terms re report for the first time, you have a good idea of some of the basic principles and adding negative keywords at the campaign level. In the very next lecture, I'm gonna take you into a live account and show you how I would go about filtering search terms to find the most valuable negative keyword opportunities. I will see you guys very shortly in the very next lecture.